fue hecho con todo el poder de procesamiento de una SSD HyperX de Kingston. Yeah. Estamos ahora en presencia nada más nada menos aquí de Angie. ¿Cómo está usted? Señor? How are you? I am thank you. Fine, thank you. How many times have you come to Mexico? How many times? How many times? Oh, how many times? It's it's my third time in Mexico and my second time in Mexico City. What do you expect from this trip? Expect? Well, I hope I will have a lot of fun and I'm already having a lot of fun. Today was amazing. We uh, visited the pyramids and we visited the National Museum. So I had a real lot real, really big fun with every guest. You can, we can slow down because you're like okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm actually trying to talk fast, fast in English and that's why my English sounds sometimes kind of funny. I don't know. Our English also sounds kind of funny because we don't speak English every day. Well, me neither. I speak Hungarian or Russian, so English is for me. And I will ask you to speak in Russian, but I don't have any way to translate that. So. Yeah, so... So the English it is. Yes. Of all the times you have come to Mexico, you have seen all kinds of cosplayers. What do you think of Mexican, of Mexican cosplayers at their level, or their actual level? I think they are great, so I can't say they are like don't really have that level like every everywhere else because I see like they have the same level as like in the U.S. or in Europe. So they are really great, and there are, there are some really amazing cosplayers who can build such a huge like robots or something. Because last year when I was here and I judged the cosplay competition and. A lot of cosplayers that build huge costumes, and I was like, my jaw is dropped. Like, oh my god, I can't even do it. Why? I'm in the judging stable. Like, oh my god. So yeah, I'm I'm really amazed by the Mexican cosplayers, the levels, and the, even if they like don't use like Borbla or something, they are really creative and they create costumes out of like local fabrics. And I think I really admire this because. Uh, your mind is getting creative and when you are trying to do different skills, different techniques or something and not, not always the same like okay I have Warbla, I will build always armors with out of Warbla. I see like Mexican cosplayers, yeah, creative as I said, as I said this five times. No, it's great because you really are committed with the thoughts of how Mexicans yeah. are, how Mexican cosplayers are. Yes, and uh, they are really talented as well, like I see they they are, the swings are really well and really well made and the, the passion, they are really passionate about this whole stuff, they are about their hobbies. Do you follow the World Cosplay Summit? No, unfortunately not, not because in Hungary we don't really have World Cosplay Summit, so it's like sometimes I watch it on YouTube, but I don't follow it when I, it goes live because my internet is kind of slow and yeah, but yeah, I try to follow it. World Cosplay Summit. I ask you because this year the, a Mexican team was the champion of the World Cosplay Summit, so I, w I wanted to know your opinion, but you didn't saw it. So. Oh no, unfortunately, but uh, when I arrive at home, I will watch it. <laughs> oh, they are great. Um, well, you were talking about a minute later, uh, well, a minute ago, about a problem with your luggage. Yeah, it was just uh, my uh, flight from Budapest is delayed, and that's why uh, they couldn't pack my luggage to to the flight to here in German, in Germany, in Mexico. So my luggage left in Germany. So to probably it will arrive today. If not, then I will be like this tomorrow. You can see me like this. In the luggage are the cosplayers or the? No, no. In the luggage is my everything. I have only a small bag with me, and that's it. And the, in the luggage I have all, all all my three costumes, all my makeup, all my. Clothes or my. You can be like this all the three days, and no one going, no one will, will mind. I don't know. <laughs> I, I will try to change my hairstyle, maybe to look more different. You're a cosplayer. You can this night. You can. Yeah, I came out of like um, blanket or something okay. like. Anything can be cosplay. Yeah, like the girl from the Enchanted movie. She did uh, herself a dress out of the curtain. So. Maybe I will be creative this night as well. <laughs> well, uh, last question. Tell me about a cosplay that has always been your dream to do, but you haven't been able for some reason to do it. Kerrigan from StarCraft. <laughs> Why? Because it's like huge. Uh, it's a, a lot of uh, makeup work. So you have to sculpt everything. You have to 
um, sculpt the body, you have to sculpt the hair, so it's like the wings. It's a really huge cosplay and it's really expensive and uh, I still don't have the skills to make it. Yeah, but hopefully one day I can be Kerrigan from StarCraft 2. Yeah, and uh, I have another like dream cosplay that may come true sometimes in the near future. It's a uh, um, from Diablo 3, the yeah. magician, the wizard, yeah, the, the wizard the girl, one. Not, not the purple one, I really like the purple one, but I prefer the red one, because it's like like a Chinese dress, yeah, can, I, you can't remember, it's in the, it was in the commercial pictures, in the art book it was as well. Oh, well, there is a purple one as well. <laughs> I try to stay all, all as far away as possible of yeah, all that I, games because... I would like to make the purple one as well, but the red one is one well, like it's a big dream cosplay for me because it's like a big dress and it's a lot of work. It's really, really, really... Is it Blood Elf? No, it's a Blood Elf is from World of Warcraft. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Fake gamer boy! No, Bl Blizzard, Blizzard is all the same! No, no well... Blizzard is not all the same, well, but no, yeah. Starcraft is, ain't like Warcraft, but the yeah, other Warcraft kind of yeah, looks the same. Yeah, but the Blizzard is from Diablo 3. But mm. never mind. Yeah, Blizzard is amazing. Do you play? Are you playing Heroes of the Storm? Uh, not yet, because uh, I have a laptop and my laptop is really slow, so I probably need to buy another one. So yeah, but I would like to play Heroes of the Storm. Actually, I play Hearthstone. It's like a game, uh, card, card game from Blizzard as well. But yeah. So you're more Blizzard than League of Legends, for example? Uh, yes, I played League of Legends, uh, but um, I don't play it right now because of my computer issue. Hopefully, in the future as well, I can... I can... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.